Uh, so colour your own enchanted creatures, mindful poster art, and the illustration is by Lily Doyle, the illustrations, and there are 20 pull-out posters. So I got this from my local store. Uh, you'd be able to find it, I'm sure. If I can find a link, I'll list it in the comments. Hi, I'm Brie. Welcome to Artsy Fandom. And today I'm going to finish this mermaid, which has been in progress for a long time. And I kind of need to get it done. So I'm going to work with my Prismacolors because I'm doing the pencil work at the moment. We've done, we've worked with the alcohol markers. So I sound a bit out of breath. It's a chest infection. It's not COVID. Well, it doesn't matter if it is. What I was thinking of starting off with is putting some shading. So, so you gotta keep your pencils like sharp too, sharp and pointy. You never know when to sharpen my pencils. Like, what about you? Like, do you when do you sharpen your pencils? Like professional artists out there, I'm sure there's a few professional colorists. Do you sharpen your pencils like religiously? You want me to be shaving? I'm sharpening them every couple of minutes. Like, I get worried because I'm. Um, I feel like I'm wasting. <laughs> I feel like I'm wasting the color. Well, bit of shading in so like it's like the rest of this thing doesn't look flat and that looked flat like that looks flat and I just want to give it some dimension I've done differently so this one I think I've colored that one in blue I colored this one in pink and then this blue I can find a darker, darkerish blue in this one. Darker. And you can use this to test it out. So if we press lightly and then press darker. Yeah. In this one, It's not super open, right? Because I'm, I'm not feeling very great, we might not be anymore. Oh, that's probably a bit too much. Oh, I'm going to it. Just give it like a little. I mean, it doesn't matter if we kind of cover all that over anyway. I kind of don't like it. So, just to make sure we stay in the line. Just uh, 
this cool like it can get depending on how many layers you add it can get really shiny and you can add it to metal surfaces wooden surfaces you can do things that we haven't used that word in a long time um steampunk kind of vibe if you want we'll do this one I'll do these little bits, little pearls, and I might see if I can do these little bits here too. I've already done around here, they're not the best, but I'm not going to play with those because you don't, it looks nice enough, you don't want to break it. So. So now we've done those, we're going to do these little things here. So we're going to go around. Keep it around the edges. Hmm. I need another skin colour, kind of like a blonde. Want it to be darker, and I usually turn the page maybe. I'm figuring out whether I'm going to make this a shorts or an actual, I don't know yet. Depends how it comes out because I've got to watch, see how with the footage is and... I'm really trying to figure out where the, the shading goes and how it's sort of like turning into a gradient.
feel like up around the head, you'll probably need a little bit more input. Put it in here. It's kind of getting more inconsistent. Not so bad. So put it in here. Yeah. Got a feel. Around here. Beautiful. I think now I need a green that matches that. So it's kind of like a light green. Oh, this one might be a nice green. Right, so this green. Just a prominent shadow. I'm going to come around with a darker green. So with this, uh, you'll see these marks. I kind of want to keep them there. Kind of, I like the, I actually like the texture. Kind of gives it a soft looking, I feel like a cushiony looking texture. I emphasize, I can't emphasize, emphasize her figure. In just the fact that she's creating a bit of a shadow. I'm trying to get her to pop a bit. So that's where I kind of want to block out the texture. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, but just want her creating a shadow so you know she's dimensional and that she's sitting there. I'm trying to go for, for a fancy realism kind of thing. I have a tendency to skip places and go back and forth to them as well, so we might see me skipping around and moving to a different area. I'm sure I'm not the only one who does that. I get bored of one area. I'm not sure if I'm going to worry about the edges, edges, because the texture will disappear. But I will come up and probably go over with a darker green to help emphasize like certain areas of her. Sometimes I might get a bit overzealous with trying to shade because I feel like I've not shaded enough. I think you do more and it makes it look overly done, and you don't. You have to sometimes find that balance. I don't know if I'm making any sense in anything I'm saying, but I'm trying to talk as I go. So you can kind of see that I'm creating like a little aura for a little shaded spot of sort of emphasizing the fact that she's there. And as it gets more blunt, it starts shading a bit better. So I'm kind of wanting to emphasize the parts closer to her body. You might not need a darker shade. Because that might I just want to lightly emphasize her shadow. I don't want to make it like a prominent thing. But here feels like I should add a bit of I don't know. I just feel like it would benefit from having a bit of shading. Light shading. I feel like I made a little bit too much of a shadow down the bottom here. But I uh, haven't really. It's a little bit sort of shadow down there. It's closer to the bottom from the bottom. The bottom and the middle, so I guess you would have a little shadow there. Hmm? I'm just gonna give it some shading. I think I've already tried to. I need to just. Yeah. Pick something out of the lights off you can kind of see it a bit better. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with it. Does not make it look too Yeah.
His name's Leo. I'll shake him one time. Little fins. A little shame on the tail, I mean. But hey, if you can't do this, I guess, without knowing you're going to get some sort of criticism, you just got to block it out, I know that. Um, but yeah, I'd love to meet you all and show my face, but yeah, just haven't got the, the um, just haven't got the confidence, you know, just yet. <laughs> I had actually someone um, a few ages ago when, well, I was around about the time the health problems had them as well. And uh, someone actually commented on a video I showed of myself reviewing Tamagotchis and they were like, oh, you're really pretty. And I, for some reason I started like, are you being like sarcastic? And then I put it on private again. <laughs> uh, say what you will, but yeah. Just, I don't know, I guess it's got shy, I don't know. Self-esteem issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know that's uh, if you want to get into this kind of stuff. Which I would like to because I love doing that and I wish I had more people to share with. So I know there's a big art community on YouTube and it's a way to sort of get out there hopefully and meet people and make a community where... Especially, yeah, if you're not really an outgoing person, I thought it'd be a nice avenue to, if I don't go anywhere with it, or get anywhere with it. Uh, on the other hand, it'll be good for the fact that I can hopefully make a few new friends, or arty friends, that, and even if they're not, if you're not close by, just like to get out more and make a few more friends, because your friends have moved away, or, you know, some of them gotten busy, as life does happen. Everyone's gotten busy, even me, but, like, yeah, just I wouldn't mind just making more friends in general, like. That's actually making it darker or lighter. What about this? Is this like. Oh, it's like a. Is this white? I don't know if this is white. I think it's actually yeah, another colour. There's probably that in here. <laughs> yeah, if you're, if you're looking, after, looking for more artsy friends, don't reach out to me. I'm not sure if I'll do too many of these right now. As I, said, I think I said I don't have a phone in my partner's at the moment. Uh, his phone broke, so I had to give mine over because he's at work and stuff to keep in touch with me. Um, but yeah, I'm um, hoping to get that back now. But for now, you're gonna have to deal with this uh, camera because I'm sorry if it's not that great, but I can't do much about it. You now, it's the first time I've tried this, and it's already got a nice little body looking thing happening at the top here. Ew. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh! Now I'm just gonna get down. Hmm. This is shiny. Time to make not to make turn air into a sparkly mermaid. Like to make sparkly mermaid skin like Twilight. Anyone watch that? I like Twilight. Any other? I like Twilight. I always like the influence. Yeah. I feel like you need to mix it around more. Oh, should I've shaken that or something? Oh, should I thought of that before I did it. Keep it on. I probably won't want to get too much on. Oh, you don't want to too much on, either. But I guess the more you have on there, you can see it. Um, because it is a type of sealant as well, so whilst you're also painting, you're sealing your work. I'm doing around the edges. Just stop and get better at this. I'm getting it everywhere. I just need my little areas. You gotta watch, pretty sure. Because when it dries, if you've got it thick, it stays like that. It kind of keeps the density. So you gotta try and spread it out 
you can definitely see it glittering. That's beautiful. It's exactly what I wanted. We'll go up. And here, I think I've pretty much covered it really well, but I'm gonna make sure because down here is all gonna cover them. Here, I might end up getting the bracelet. But, uh, I'm not perfect at this. Oh, that's done. We'll start there. Yeah, you just wait until that dries. I'm gonna make sure. Yeah. All right. Okay, we're done now. But if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like and subscribe. And tell me, uh, what is your favourite kind of thing to or land? Like, what do you like colouring in? What is your favourite? Do you like fantasy? Do you like creepy stuff? Oh my gosh, I just rubbed my head and I think I got glitter all over my face, my forehead. Oh gosh. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, are you messy with glitter as well? Like, I'd like to know that. Uh, so yes, please interact with me. Please interact with this channel. Please think about subscribing. I am trying to work on my cameras. I'm trying to... I am trying... I'm, I'm hoping to get more um, involved. Because I do... I've been wanting to do... I've been doing YouTube for a while. But I always keep switching and changing. I feel like I found my genre. I'm a bit older than people. Like uh, people, and people usually start in their teens. I did start in my teens. But... I was very slow and I not very consistent. I had a lot of things going on in life, um, personal as well as health and medical. So uh, I haven't been able to be as consistent or anywhere near consistent, but I am trying. I moved out of home, got a partner. I am trying to make up one or two of the rooms into like a office office kind of art room and a book kind of studio room where I do most of my paint do most of these where I'd like to move things in and actually set it up and do things in there because there's good light and there's a bit of room when I get it cleaned out again but yes I'm Brie <laughs> from Arts in Fandom like I said like subscribe what's your favorite kind of colouring the colour and are you messy with glitter? Some people use a code word for when they get to the end. Mine is going to be glitter. If you watched uh, this video till the very end, have a good night because it is evening here and I've got another video planned very shortly so stay tuned. See you later.